Let's move on, though, into our next quarterback. Guy mm-hmm. drafted at numero trace on the board. Sam Darnold going to the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Fireman Ed might be happy with this one because uh, the Sam Darnold, number one on most people's big boards. It was either Darnold, Rosen, Allen, whoever you liked, like Sean said, in the first segment. Dave, I'll go to you first. Kind of spread the love sure, between sure, you sure, and sure, Sean. Sure. Did the Jets get their franchise winner? Did they get their franchise guy with Sam Darnold? I think they did, because Sam Darnold ended last year as probably one of the best quarterbacks in that group, and mm-hmm. then he had to come back this year. Obviously, the team was a little less stacked. Uh, the performance well, a little less Juju impressive. Anymore. Didn't have Juju. He had a shoddy offensive line. Mm-hmm. The weaponry around him was, it was a notch down. His play was a notch down, but he still showed everything that you want to see out of him. And I think that, again, he is an NFL quarterback through and through. He has, like, the pedigree already, which is scary levels because, I mean, the kid's, like, 20. Like, mm-hmm. he, he's so he's still young. Uh, he's probably 23. I have no idea. But point being, young kid, incredibly well um, handled for his age. He's a good quarterback. He is really, like, the. there's no real concern unless you think that the whole, like, his step down stat-wise was more so on him, which early in the year he did have a problem. Mm -hmm. He got better as the year went on. Mm -hmm. Still. I'm so pissed. As a Patriots fan, I'm so pissed. Now I have to deal with Jets fans because they have an actual quarterback that can throw the ball. Yeah, they, not don't, dealing have, with, they don't have Christian Hackenberg. They're not dealing with gym teacher uh, Josh McCown. Hey, they're not you, de- you put some respect on that not, name. They're not <laughs> dealing with you know Harvard grad Ryan Fitzpatrick. Don't they're, forget about uh, Teddy Two Gloves. Yeah, Teddy Two Gloves as well. No <laughs> need. Need him. Uh, yeah, Sam Darnold. I mean, this kid has every everything to be a franchise quarterback, and I I, I don't think he'll bust. In a mm-hmm. way that a Jamarcus Russell busted or anything like that, I think if he busts or if, if he doesn't pan out to be a franchise quarterback, he's still going to be in that like Sam Bradford range where he still can be a starter. He'll be at starter level. I, I don't see him completely falling off the face of the earth. I don't mm-hmm. see him, you know, being out of the league in three or four years. Because I'm saying this, he's going to be out of the league in three or four years. Um, but again, I, I look at him and I think you know the biggest concern is turnovers. But even then. Jay Cutler still has a job because he has mm-hmm. all the traits and he's still a leader. Well, um, did have a job. We'll see if that happens. Well, I mean, he, he had a job back. for what? You yeah. Know, if, he came uh, out of retirement years? because Tannehill yeah. got injured. I mean, he, had, he had a job for 12 years yeah. in the NFL. It's a very long career. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think he's always going to be in the league. I, I think he's got everything to, to, to be good and he has everything to be great. And I think the, the Jets here are thanking their lucky stars that they got Sam Darnold at three. And again, we kind of talked about this a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. There was always this talk about Baker to the Jets. I think the Browns are originally thinking something along your lines mm-hmm. of, let's get Saquon one, Baker will be that four. Yeah. And that's why maybe the Jets are like, well, let's see. We want Darnold. Let's see if we can push well, we can push Dorsey the other way and see if we can get him to crumble and take Baker one. Well, and that's the thing, like, with this week, we even mentioned it Monday on the onside kick. The thing I hate about it is, like, a new story will come out, yeah. and it'll be like, now, is this really what they're thinking, or is it a smoke screen? And then you get the absolute garbage. We'll get into it a little bit with Alan, but I'm mm-hmm. going to say it right. right now. The absolute garbage where I saw a tweet today where someone goes, when are we going to stop, like, just holding on to awful news and just releasing it on the biggest day of these kids' lives? Yeah. yeah. Like, then we get that side of it, too. My big question with Sam Darnold is – has nothing to do with can he, won't he, will he. It's, all right, they drafted him. See a day one starter. Because they bring the gym teacher back on a contract. They bring Teddy Nonies, um in to be their backup. Josh McCown's really the guy. But for me, you drafted Sam Darnold. He's the guy day one. My now concern is you better get him some wide receivers in the rest of this draft. Let me give uh, everybody and you guys a little bit of an analogy. You know when you go through the drive through at McDonald's mm-hmm. and you get warm, piping hot fries, mm-hmm. and you know you're probably going to burn the roof of your mouth, but they're piping hot fries and they're you probably going right to be delicious, mm-hmm. and you're, you're not going to save them until they get home because they're not going to be as hot. Uh-huh. Sam Darnold's going to start day one, even if you shouldn't be mm-hmm. putting those fries in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like you have two quarterbacks that have been starters in the NFL, but you have piping hot fries in the bag. 
you're going to reach in and see what the kid can do. Because you're also in New York, and it's not like they're going to— if, if Josh McCown goes out and throws an interception and Sam Darnold's not starting, they're going to start booing. You oh, draft yeah. this kid oh, yeah. third it's, overall, it's he better thing, be ready to start. It's the whole thing that they had with if they don't start Darnold, it's kind of like Tim Tebow with Denver. Jesus where it's Christ. Like one interception, yep. bring in Tebow, dun, 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 dun. So terrible. You don't, I, I, you don't put that on the rest of your mm-hmm. team. I think that's the biggest thing. I think Darnold's also better than Josh McCown and Teddy yeah. Bridgewater. That's what I'll be starting. Well, probably, probably. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. We'll see how good he does as soon as they get into the early camps. I think he'll prove pretty quickly on. I mean, my thing is like I want to make I want to be that asshole. And let, during the last segment, we were mm-hmm. talking about the Baker Mayfield to uh, Menzel comparisons. Yeah. So let's go USC to USC with this boy. They both went to the Jets, and our our man the Sanchez, the Buck okay. himself. Okay. How 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 do you how do you avoid a situation where you have a quarterback come in and maybe peak early and then just dip off the face of the earth into your offensive lineman's asshole? I think it's completely well butt fumble. Jesus, um, I think it's I think you those, could have said ass, but I don't added, added the no, yeah, Dave, that was yeah, Dave just wanted to go full on <laughs> a vulgar. in general. A vulgar, sorry. Um, the thing Wait, though man. that morning the thing though that I think about with that is they're two totally different. like. Mark Sanchez was, I'm going to be out partying. I'm going to be out with the hot girls. I don't see that with Sam Darnold. Like, well, he's not a party animal. I don't well, Even that. on the field, they're just different. No, I know. Like, for me, I don't think there's an A. Like, it's, oh, we're comparing A and B. It's like, all right, we've got a mammal over here and an amphibian over here. Oh, wow. How they're do you, that, how do you want me to look at these two, Dave? Like, I mean, I'm going double USC quarterback. Do, do the Jets just have a type? They're just hoping to find – they're still no, looking for I, their Joe replacement? I think this was blatantly Todd Bowles. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a year where it's like, shit, I got to win or I'm losing my job. Especially because like, – I got to win, so I'm going to go with a rookie no, no, quarterback. I don't know. No, the, think about it this way. We talked about Cleveland. Cleveland might be like – the Wolverine might be on a longer leash because A, it's I disagree. not a wait, 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 it, not really long, but a longer where mm-hmm. they just got rid of the Moneyball guy, so they're bringing in, they're kind of they're reeling in all his picks that he yeah, earned. Well, yeah, kind of the same hinky effect, yeah. but they're getting rid of that, so they're not blaming the Wolverine, and it's like, all right, we're in a market like Cleveland where this is, it's the New York market. If you're not winning today, there's a problem. And Todd Bowles has had the job in this organization for a few years now. But that, but that doesn't mean he was a bad coach. I no. mean, look at look at that team last year. But how many coaches have we seen where it's like but, you're not a bad no. coach, but you didn't win, I, so we're getting ready. They won what six games last year. Mm-hmm. This you picked them to go on. You picked them to be the Browns. You picked yes, them I not did. to win a, win a game. I did. They won six games. Yeah, that's impressive. What mm-hmm. they did with Josh McCown on the field. As their quarterback was insane. Todd Bowles did a great job last year. Todd mm-hmm, Bowles is you. not the problem in this franchise. The problem is they haven't had players with talent in years. Like well, that, that's I, the biggest thing. Well, I don't think it, it's. I, I, I'm real quick. I don't think this is anything about the New York market. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is anything about Todd Bowles not winning games or winning playoff games. He won six games. He over succeeded. If he was going to be fired, he'd be fired after the, no, the after this year. But what I'm saying is, it's you're looking at those and saying. So I'm looking at this pick and saying that Todd Bowles might have been saying, all right, we won six games last year, but I know with these fans, this market, my management, that's not good enough. One year, that's fine. This year, we got to have more than that. Do I want to roll out the gym teacher again, Mm -hmm. or do I get my franchise guy right here? That's what I'm saying, that this pick was him saying, I'm getting my guy here because they could win more games with Sam. But Darnold. why wouldn't you do that? that but that's, no, that's, that's the thing. Is like, of course you would do that. You look at this. You look at this roster. They did absolutely nothing. They haven't had a franchise quarterback. I wouldn't even say franchise quarterback mm-hmm. since March Sanchez. They have not had a franchise quarterback really since Chad Pennington, and Pennington had major injury issues. I this love Pennington. Ju- and he was really. I'm sorry. Just, I'm, he would have been good if he, he, he was if such he a was, smart guy. If he was we healthy. are Marshall, baby. Um, but again, it's it's with 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 Todd Bowles. It was a clear need. You yes. need a franchise quarterback. Oh, they were going that, that, quarter. They traded up for this pick exactly. to go quarterback. And even if they didn't at six, they would have taken a quarterback. Like, yeah. They needed a franchise quarterback. That was clear, plain, and simple. Mm-hmm. I don't think this was because Todd Bowles' job is on the line. I don't think this is this is just a clear need that they had. It's it's like it, the it Bears was last year. You can't roll into a season with but your starting quarterback like, being 37 and a guy with injury history. It was like the him. Bears last year. The mm-hmm. Bears 
Again, we really didn't think that the Bears were going to go and trade up for Mitch Trubisky. We didn't even know if they were going to take Mitch Trubisky with that third overall pick. Jamal Adams was being thrown out there. But now we look back and we're like, why wouldn't have they taken Mitch Trubisky? Mm -hmm. You look at that and you needed a franchise quarterback. Mike Glennon was not the guy. I think they clearly realized that, hey, we finally need a quarterback. We haven't had a quarterback in years. Every single team that's winning has a franchise quarterback. We need that guy. I think that was all they did. I think they did due diligence. Mm -hmm. I think they clearly made the right choice. I think the Jets just saw a need and went out and addressed it. Well, and I'm not saying that they weren't going to go quarterback, but, I mean, you look at it, they could have gone Josh Allen. They could have even gone really the, I'll go back to the way back prediction and kind of comparison was when we were all going Darnold and Rosen, one, two, Mm -hmm. who is going to be number one. And for me, I love this pick because it's like with Josh Allen, the whole thing is, some, like, Sean's in the camp of he's going to be a bust. There are some people that are like, he's going to have to sit for a few years. Where I'm in both. The, the, Jet, the, <laughs> Jets don't, the Jets don't have time. The Jets don't have two or three years for a guy to sit. So Josh Allen's out the window. Then for them it becomes Darnold Rosen. And for me, Darnold's a better pick because not only can he start day one, with, Ro- like with Rosen it's like, okay, mm-hmm. both of them can start day one. But you know what? Questions with this guy. Question not. No questions with this guy. Seriously, the squeaky Sam clean Darnold. whistle. Like yeah. that's there. There's nothing to not like about Sam. It's it's annoying mm-hmm. how likable he is as yeah. a player. His hair is amazing. It, it is. <laughs> you gotta be a little jealous of that shit. Amazing. Um. That's that's why I think he's like Barney Stinson. Never has a bad picture. He could be. Mm-hmm. He entirely has the potential. Um. I just yeah. I think that it's the ideal fit for the Jets. It's the ideal fit. Um. Maybe not for him because mm-hmm. obviously. It's not the easiest place to play in. It's a large media market. The weather is constantly a pain in the ass. Heavy wind. Um, look, I, I, I. Let's be honest. It's though, not like it's going to be a problem for him. But let's it's be just, honest. He was in a big college market with Southern Cal. I mean, that was the football team in yeah. Southern Cal before the the Rams came along. Even then, yeah. no one showed up to their playoff game. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I just with Darnold again. It's, it's a clear pick for them. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not trying to bash the pick or anything. I just. I, it was clear that they needed a franchise quarterback mm-hmm. and went out and got him. I think I think they picked I think they had an absolute home run. Best pick of the draft was was probably Sam Darnold because that was the number one quarterback going into the day. He's still the number one quarterback coming out of the day in my mind. Uh well at least um I, I think franchise wise. I still like Josh Rosen as a as a player, but if you want a guy that's gonna be a safer pick and still have near that ceiling, Sam Darnold's that guy. By the way, just some revisionist history on your part, calling them different species. Uh, Darnold's <laughs> fi- Darnold's best year versus Sanchez's last year, mm-hmm. extremely similar stats across okay. the board. Uh, I believe you're figuring how amazing that USC team was with Sanchez, but but I'm saying regardless. NFL like the whole yeah, not well, just on the compare, field, but like they're, they're both college players off the field. It's they were two different guys. Like Sam Fine. Darnold, I'm way more confident in being successful with the Jets than like. Yes, it, Sanchez was early with Rex no. Ryan. I think it's easy defense. to see now what Sanchez is. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying at the time, we're, we're, we're seeing sort of a small portion of these guys. The, uh, so that's I just want to be like, yeah. before you go on your high road. Then. I was just being an asshole. I know. Be but here's the thing I think about. So this is now a team that doesn't have a pick until the third round. So they don't have a pick mm-hmm. until late tomorrow. Well, as you guys are watching this, late today. <laughs> then they have four picks in day three. Who? I want to ask you guys... How do they now – can they build around him in the draft? Because, like, I look at their depth chart right now. Yeah, they have Jermaine Curse. Yeah, they have Terrell Pryor. But, like, that Terrell Pryor where it's like, are you confident with him being your number two on the other side? Well, is it going to be Browns, like, Terrell Pryor, or is it going to be Redskins, Terrell Pryor? Exactly. That's they have, like, a, like they do have Devin Smith. They do have Anuwa, who I believe was injured last year. He played pretty well, though. The thing I think of, though, is this draft. They need to grab a wide. They need to grab a wide receiver with that third or that fourth. Yeah. They need to get Sam Darnold some help, or else I wouldn't be surprised if they're back to six or five wins, even with Sam Darnold as their quarterback. Uh, tight end wise, is do so have Austin Severian Jenkins? As well? No, they have their starting tight end on here is Jordan Leggett. Jordan Leggett. They have Walford, Eric Tomlinson, well, Neil Sterling, and then Bucky Hodges. Who doesn't love Clive? Clive Clive Walford um, yeah, off of waivers. But um, yeah, with, with Darnold, I think it's just something with 
uh, looking looking at that that, that weapon, I, I think people will expect a lot of results so far, but I think this is going to be very similar to the Carson Wentz build, mm-hmm. where Carson didn't have immediate weapons right away in Philadelphia, but you saw the promise. Um, and I think that's going to be kind of similar to Sam's build. You have decent players out there. Yeah. I mean, Durant Carson was really good last year. Um, Quincy Nunoa, again, shown potential at some points. you got a lot of tall receivers as well. Um, I mean, those are some pretty big guys that you listed off. Um, but I think it's going to be more similar to the, the, the Eagles build with Carson Wentz, where they're just trying to get their feet set. Let's see how he does in his first year. It's not going to be a big deal because we know and he's a franchise guy. And then go get the Tory Smith, Alshon Jeffrey. And win yourself a ring. Two. Yeah, and, and win yourself a ring. You could draft a guy next year, too. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, I agree. I think, like, top to bottom, this is a smart move for them. As long as they continue on drafting for him. Mm-hmm. Like, he is clearly his team moving forward. Like Sean said... As long as you keep adding pieces, and it doesn't need to, like, you don't need to go and try to reach for another, like, potential, like, crazy high potential guy. Just get guys around Mm -hmm. him who can be consistent contributors and help him out. Because otherwise, he ends up in a situation where he's just going to get railed because he is their only offensive weapon, and he's just stuck. Well, you got got the engine, and now you just got to build the body of of your dream car. Here's the thing I want to ask, and Sean, I'm going to go to you first because this is going to be a question that hurts you the most. Tom Brady, when he does leave, Sam Darnold will still be hopefully playing for the Jets. Mm-hmm. When Brady does leave, so give me a prediction of when Brady does leave, when he does, whatever year that is. 2023. Will Sam Bradford, or not Sam Bradford, Sam Darnold, I don't know why I said Bradford. <laughs> Sam Darnold, will he then bring the Jets to the top of the division once Brady's gone? He will play two more years, Tom Brady, so he'll play next year and the year after that. So um, 2019 after winning, will be his last year. After winning uh, two Super Bowls. Um <laughs> Against two, seen, just go full, just go full into it. Defeats the Eagles this year, Ooh, and then uh, next year he'll de- defeat the Chicago Bears. Okay, um, oh, he'll, he'll, battle, be he'll, okay. he'll battle, he'll battle Mitch Trubisky. The battle of the goats. Both, both quarterbacks will throw <laughs> sixty times in the game. <laughs> um, but will Sam Darnold then bring the Jets to number one once Brady leaves? Will he become the king of the? Like, well, either immediately or years after like when Brady leaves will Darnold be the king of this division with the Jets at some point yes because he's going up against Josh Allen he'll win that battle every single time uh, so that's a hot take yeah. save this one and we're gonna, gonna say, we're gonna use hey, it for hey, cold takes as long as you're making takes Sean <laughs> bring it freezing cold takes <laughs> is Darnold gonna be the best quarterback in at the end of their class. career so in this draft, draft, draft class, class. Yep. yep no I'll take uh Josh Rosen. That's the, that's the one later. that's going to bite me. Rosen, Rosen. That's the one that's going to bite me because mm-hmm. he's probably going to get injured. Uh, Darnold will be a playoff quarterback, and, and I think he'll take the Jets to the playoffs. Um, it will probably be his division for a couple of years once Brady has retired. Will it be with Todd Bowles? Um, or does Bowles get fired from now until Brady leaves? That one's tougher. I'll say yes. Okay. The Todd Bowles will get fired. And that's a new coach that two years. gets the potential Why not? out of it, Sam none Darnold. None of this is going to happen. What do you think, Dave? They'll trade Darnold for a bag of nickels or something. <laughs> like, I like that one. A bag of dimes. <laughs> buffalo nickels, though. Yeah, Buffalo, buffalo nickels. nickels. 1982 Buffalo they'll nickels. They'll trade Darnold and Allen for nickels. <laughs> so they'll get Allen and then get the nickels, uh-huh. and then they'll then Darnold will go to the But Bills. the nickels can't play nickel corner. No, no, they can't no. do that. Or they can't play Nickelback. This is what happens when you record at one in the morning, people. <laughs> what do you think, Dave? I, I oh, think God, it is one. <laughs> Close to. I, I, I think he is probably not going to be the best quarterback, but I think he's going to be one of the most consistent. Like I see mm-hmm. him, and I, I don't want to draw comparisons because they're not the same player. I yeah. see him as like the equivalent of a Philip Rivers. Okay. Like he is a good passer. He's your he starting quarterback for a decade. Yeah. But... He'll be overshadowed by better talents mm-hmm. throughout his career, but he'll be consistently very good. He, he won't He's be... had to deal with injuries though with wide receivers. That's well, yeah, but Philip Rivers. But but also, I mean, like that's the one. But thing. But he also won't rock the boat out, out of yeah. that out of that draft class. He has better stats than Eli, mm-hmm. but Eli has the rings, yeah. and Big Ben has the rings, and then has similar stats. So that's why Rivers is always seen as the third best quarterback. But Philip Rivers has been. Phenomenal there. Mm-hmm. So, yep. um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. Who's going to be the best quarterback, though? I don't know yet. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so it's not going to be Darnold. It's not Darnold. I'm, a- I'm on the fence. Between, I want to say Baker, but that man is like lava, man. He could be amazing. He could be he, he could be like used up garbage by I, literally week 16. So I'm going to make two hot takes here. Yep. I'm going to say, one, the first it's year. not going to be Allen. The first year after Cut Brady him. retires, the Jets will win the division with Sam Darnold. What? Number two. 
the best quarterback when it's all said and done will be Lamar Jackson. Wow. Lamar Jackson I will love be the, the best takes. one for this. I love this. AM He will takes. be the best one. Like, I, I like the Darnold thing with Phillip Rivers. I can see that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. either, to me, going to be Jackson or Darnold are the best it's from both. it. But I'm going to go with Jackson. I would rather have Sam Darnold be the better quarterback than Lamar Jackson mm -hmm. because we passed on him twice. And well, it's the, the and Patriots. I, weirdly Sean's going to crumble. <laughs> I weirdly enough, hate the Ravens more than I do the, yeah, uh, the Jets. Yeah, you will. But this is where you guys come in. Jet fans, let us know what you think of the Darnold pick. Did you get your franchise winner? And what the Jets need to do the rest of today because day two is going on while this goes up. And then day three will be tomorrow. But let you let us know what you think of this first round pick down below in the comment section.